What's up, America? Welcome back. That's right. I'm saying America because, let's face it, we're all Americans. Uh, it seems like lately everybody's seeming to uh, lose sight of that, lose track of that. But anyway, welcome back to another video, you guys. We actually have a dinosaur back on the channel. And uh, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm, I I really wish the dually was was an old Detroit. Uh, here we got a 9565. Um, this is actually the truck that, uh, my plow came off of. Uh, this is Luke's dad's truck. Um, so I got the plow for, you know, we got to do an injection pump on this thing. So, and I have an, I have an injection pump, uh, 9495 VIN code F trucks run a 5068 part number, uh, injection pump. This is a DS4. Uh, so today we're going to break down how to remove the injection pump. And then I'm going to do another video on installing it and then how to properly set, uh, how to do the TDC relearn. Um, this truck is currently trying to run away. Uh, if you let it sit in idle, it gets to a certain engine temp and it's, it's just erratic. It's all over the place. So anyway, we're going to jump into it. Um, first things first. What we're gonna have to do here uh, I don't know how much time-lapse I'm gonna do because I don't want to drown this video out with that but we're gonna start with the upper intake plenum you've got six 10 millimeter bolts uh, that hold the upper plenum to the lower plenum we have a 13 millimeter right here we have an 8 millimeter or 5 16 for the CDR and it's the same thing for the turbo clamp so we're gonna go ahead and pop those off real quick um, unplug your uh, your boost sensor here your map sensor and then your uh, intake air temp sensor right there so go ahead and pop those off and then catch back up with you okay so now that we got the plenums off again there's no right or wrong order to do this this is just kind of the order that I do it in um, personally it makes the most sense but you see how juicy the inside of that intake is inside of that turbo this truck's going to need a cdr valve um or probably even a catch can catch can might not even be a bad idea um but anyway the next on the back of here is pulling the turbo off uh quick side note uh this little 11 millimeter that holds the cdr in place to the back of the turbo so don't forget to do that uh if you guys have an aftermarket turbo um you won't have to worry about that little guy so next up we have, this is a uh, T3, so we got one, two, three, uh, four 15 millimeter bolts that hold this on. Uh, down in there, there's a T-clamp, uh, that is a 7 16 And then right here, your feed line is a three quarter. Uh, might have to throw an 11 16 on the bottom there just to keep it from spinning. Hopefully we don't have to. Um, so anyway, that's that. Oh. And I'm I'm so not I'm not used to a stock truck, so uh, a majority of these already have a turbo master on them. But this is still ran by the vacuum pump, so we got to pop this vacuum line right there off as well. Okay, so with the turbo off, uh, we also removed the uh, glow plug relay override. Uh, what we're gonna do next? is we are going to remove the bracket from the back side of the alternator here. You do not have to pull the alternator. We're going to remove that. I already popped the vacuum lines out of our boost sensor there. We're going to get that up and out of the way, and then our fuel bowl. To get our fuel bowl out, there's two 15 millimeter uh, bolts that hold that in. Our sensor, this is on a bracket that's got two 15 millimeter nuts. Um, this has two 15 millimeter nuts. Um, right up here. I took one of them off to get our grounds off um, Then there's a 13 millimeter bolt here and Then right there. There's a 15 millimeter nut and bolt So we're gonna remove all four of those and then this bracket will pop right off and get out of the way Which will expose our lower plenum right here Okay, we got the intake plenum off uh, we're going to start busting injection lines loose, which as you can see, these have been replaced before, so it'll make it easy. 
um, which those are three quarter or 19 millimeter, however you want to do it. Then we've got these two bolts right here. These are 12 millimeter. We got to pop those off. Uh, right here at the tensioner is an 18 millimeter. We're going to take the belt off. And then there's four 13 millimeters right there to get the fan off. So we're going to take, we're actually going to take the belt off. Then we're going to do the fan. And now we're going to do injection lines. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get this guy off right here because behind this, there's, there's a grommet right in here. And behind there uh, is actually the bolts that mount the injection, or that actually the injection pump bolts into the injection pump gear. And then there's, uh, now you can see how, you can hear how fat and out of shape I am. I about died there. There's two bolts that you can see right there, right? One there, one there. Uh, that hold the injection pump onto the back, but we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear it down, get the injection lines off, and then expose the front of the injection pump. Uh, we're removing the fan because we need to be able to rotate the motor via uh, harmonic balancer. So that's how we're going to do that. So I'm going to catch back up with you guys when we get there too. Okay, I just managed to break my light. But we're at the fun part. So right in here, that bolt right there, there's three of those. Those are 13 millimeters. And those that... Anyway, those hold the injection pump to the injection pump timing gear. Um, there is also a peg in there. When, when we get to that, I'll show it to you guys. Um, so this I am actually going to time lapse on. Uh, I'm going to give the camera over to my lovely assistant as soon as she stops screwing around with a dog. And uh, we're going to we're going to pop these out. I do not. I'm going to use an impact to pull these out. I do not recommend that. Um, I've done a lot of these, so you know. But anyway, the other thing too though is you will need a breaker bar with a 15 millimeter on the harmonic balancer. And what you're going to do is you're going to rotate it, the engine as you pull them out to get to the next one. And then you got to do it three times. So, all right. You done screwing around? And I broke my own roll. So I forgot to take this grommet out, which makes it so much easier to do. It gives you more room. I was wondering why I was so tight with my finger in there. So we got one out. I wish I didn't break my light off, man. It could see a lot better. You smell that burn a while though. Holy sh thinkies. Alright. Now I'm detaching the, the impact from here. Because I want to feel by hand, make sure that it's out. And then I grip the the underside of the washer with my index finger as I'm pulling it out. That way I know I got a hold of it. That way it doesn't drop down into the motor. And we don't have to pull the front timing cover and all that fun stuff to try to chase it down. Oh yeah, compression stroke. There it is. And try not to smack the crap out of the radiator like I just did. That's bad. <clears throat> All right. 
a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna try to get this one as north as possible. Because let me tell you, these little guys will make or break you on this job. They can make it 10 times harder than it needs to be. And I'm all, I'm all about smarter, not harder. Cool. There's number three. Thank you so much. So now that we got those three out, them little guys there, I'm going to go ahead and pull the 12 points out of the back of the injection pump. We're going to slide it out. And uh, PMD on the side, that's junk, we're taking that off. Uh, this one does have it relocated um, right there. Now, I don't know who did that. I don't really care who did that. Uh, one thing that I don't like about these trucks is, you know, there's there's a lot of piss poor places to choose to put one of those. And under the hood, under the hood is just one of those as far as I'm concerned, but that's just me. So I will talk to them and potentially put it behind the bumper. That's where I always put all mine. But anyway, yeah, that's it. I'm going to clean up tools. Um, it is... The eve of Christmas Eve, so you know, I'm gonna clean up. I work tonight, and then we got a few days off with the family. Um, but also, really cool, we did manage, check this out, we did manage to hit 120 subscribers. That's freaking awesome, you guys. Again, I, I thank you for all the love and support. I really do appreciate it. Things have been slow around here. You know, this this stuff right here, I, I really haven't had a chance to mess with it. Uh, hopefully, I'm doing something really, really cool tomorrow in preparations of, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, I keep I keep talking about it, you know. It's time to, time to stop talking about it and be about it, so... We'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you guys again so much for the love and support, man. It does, it means the world to me. Um, we got a few things to do on this yet. Um, you know, as far as putting the injection pump and all that back in, which again, I will walk you guys through. It's gonna be an awesome time. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, all that before you leave. If you got any questions, comment below. Um, also my Instagram, I will put that somewhere in here. Uh, feel free to DM me if you have any questions, anything like that, stuff you guys would like to see. Uh, but anyway, thanks again. Take care. Enjoy the holiday with your family. Merry Christmas to you all. And, uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. See ya.